triple kill. We're in. We're doing threes? All right, so loser semis underway. I believe the map order is Prisoner, Hang em High, and Chill Out. <coughs> Gazzo and Prime versus Kujir and Kush. Winner advances to Loser's Finals. Gazzo and Prime getting the Overshield 3 spawn. Gazzo immediately with the Overshield, turning his sights down to camo as the Kush sending rockets up to the top of the map, able to pick off the Overshield player. <coughs> Prime all by himself on the top of the map, just trying to be elusive and be difficult to rocket, but does land with a rocket at his feet. Kush doing a really good job with these initial camo <coughs> rockets. Kujir at the top of the map now. Prime playing from PR. They were able to get a safe spawn, but here comes Kush on the prowl. I guess he was out of rockets. That's the only reason. Yeah, he must have been out of rockets. That's the only reason I could think that you would want an assault rifle in there. Able to pick off Gazzo. Kujir still retaining top control, but he is one shot. Able to just do some damage and then slip out of sight while his partner finishes. Prime has made his way over to red two and safe spawn. <coughs> Excuse me. And Kujir getting the one minute overshield, able to take out Gazzo immediately. <coughs> Prime with camo at the bottom of the map, doesn't want to move, he's no shield. Spawns his partner low, hopefully out of sight. Kush suspects he might be under him. Kush dropping with this overshield, trying to find the camo player. Drops right in front of him, takes out Prime, trying to get the devil. Can he get the melee off? Does so, finally, using his entire overshield and then some to get that double kill. Gazzo coming off spawn at back wall, does, is able to trade, so Kujir still roaming top middle, trying to nade spawn, spawns his partner red three with him. Prime trying to come up from bottom red. Able to pick off his partner, there's <coughs> eyes on Prime, and Kush just gonna deny him getting to safe spawn. Kujir and Kush doing a great job of keeping map control here. However, one just spawned right behind Kush, that's a crucial kill from Prime to take off half of the map control. Gazzo getting the camo, but Kujir already has the rocket. So that was a heads up play from Kujir to know that the other team was going to get the camo. And so he dropped from the top and sacrificed getting himself the overshield so that he could drop and grab the rockets before Gazzo could. However, he does go down. And it was all, it was all in vain. But however, Gazzo does die. And Prime getting shut down. So Kujir eventually getting the overshield. However, rockets are down on the bottom of the map. Unable to get away from the twin pistols there. <coughs> Kush was able to get one working on the double. Prime forcing him to back up. Kush falls to the bottom of the map to get Prime as he was reloading. Really unpredictable play by Kush. Dropping right in front of the rockets. However, he didn't go for him. Suspecting players might be spawning up behind him. Guesses correctly as Prime spawns at back wall three. Now Kush going to make a play for the rockets. However, he can't find him and does finally go down. Kush you're getting the three minute overshield. Prime thinking about going for this camo, making his way over there. Does get spotted before he can get to it. This will likely lead to Kujir and Kush getting the camo. Gazzo trying to keep him off of it for as long as he can. Let his partner come off spawn. The overshield pressure coming from the top. Gazzo going to make his way to it. They're doing their best to deny it. I'd be shocked if Gazzo gets away with this. No, he does finally go down. However, Prime coming off spawn and taking out Kujir. And now Kush suddenly forced to play from the bottom of the map. Kujir able to escape with his life into Blue Tunnel. Going to come back out to try to finish this weak player. Able to get one, and Prime shuts down Kujir. I expected him to die there. I was going to be surprised if he didn't get that kill. Kujir sending up good nades. Able to hit Prime with the grenade. Able to, he sent, those were blind grenades. It was just guess grenades, and Kujir, uh, Kush able to take out Prime. Great shots out of Gazzo to pluck off Kush before he could make his way into the Red Tunnel. However, Kujir able to sneak away with these four-minute camo rocks. Misses the misses the rocket on Gazzo, who still has a little bit of an overshield. Now going to put it to use on Kush. Rocket's coming up from the bottom. Kujir can't seem to connect. He's missed two. Spotting the player, sp spotting the muzzle flash in office, unable to get connect with the rocket. Look at this. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. That's not cool. Prime hitting the jump up, going to play for the overshield now. Trying to help his partner here on the back wall. 
Spawning Kush as he drops. Able to get one. Turns the double. And now he's going to move over to try to deny the overshield spawn. No grenades. That's exactly where they spawn. Worst case scenario for Prime. Gazzle's going to drop and get this five minute camo. But Kush with the overshield. Gazzle with the camo. Now he's in a battle he, against the player who sees him. Able to get one. Will he get away? Kush has no grenades to throw at this ladder. You're able to pick off Prime from OB2. And Gaz is going to try to spawn his partner with him in office. Should be twin pistols on this overshield player. Prime goes down. But Kush still with a little bit of shield. He lost the overshield in that exchange, but I'm surprised he didn't die to those <clears throat> two people pistoling him. A good play out of Kudru there to dish the damage and then dip out before dying and just trust his partner to finish the kill. Kush trying to come up behind Gaz, but Prime is right next to him. Kudger finishes the weak one, and Prime is going to play from red two now. Kush died before he could get the six minute overshield because Gazzo spawned right behind him. Gazzo trying to move to play against the camo rockets, but Kudger already has them. He's so quick about getting those every cycle. Sending him up, is able to connect on Gazzo this time. Unlike a couple cycles ago where he was missing rockets left and right, sending him up. seeing the rockets come from right two and turns the sights on him. I don't even think he saw Gazzo. It was just a great guess out of Kuzier. Kuzier now out of rockets and his partner dead, playing from the bottom of the map. He has camo, but he was just seen. He's going to try to spawn his partner bottom tunnel. They were all over it. There's just no play for Kuzier here. He's got to try to find a way to give his partner a decent spawn. Kush goes down. So finally they get the two down. Kuzier able to get a great spawn to pick off a weak Gazzo. However, Prime getting the overshield right in front of him. He's going to drop. He's going to be able to at least get this, this camo. Will he get away? His partner's dead. Will he give red three? He's going to spawn his partner down with him. Probably a be much better idea. Camo player playing out of red two. And Gazzo and Prime just going to slow play it, trying to get eyes on the camo player. They suspect he went red two to get one. Kush goes down. Now the camo player versus Prime who does have the overshield. And look for Kujer to just play the long game here and be satisfied with partial damage every time. Able to elude Gazzo. Great footwork out of Kujer to drop to the bottom of the map and stay alive. Forcing them to turn their attention on Kush who was able to get the double kill. A really good job out of Kujer just not getting greedy, being satisfied with what he can get away with and trusting his partner to follow up. Seconds to go until everything spawns. Kush in position for the overshield. Kudger already on the rockets, but they've been naded away. Barely able to get it back to red two, but the rocket comes in from Gazzo. With Gazzo with camo rocks, he got them fast. Prime spotting the player red three above him. That is the overshield player. Gazzo gonna fire shots in the bottom. Great shot hitting the catwalk. Taking out Kuzier. But Kush, that, I think that's the overshield snipe. Staying hidden up there, giving his partner a safe spawn top of the red tunnel. Prime going down to some great nades and Gazzo just trying to spot these players and making themselves very difficult to find knowing that he has the camo rockets likely at the bottom of the map. Because you're bouncing some grenades down towards red two. I think they connected but they finally they spotted the source of the grenades. 41-39. I didn't see who was leading. I think Kuzier and Kush are leading. Yes, it was for 42-40. Nine minute mark hits Gazzo gets the overshield. Who's playing for Kama? That will be Kujer not going for it. Looks like now he's finally committed to it. Runs for it. Bottom the player. Red suit. Will he get away with the camo? No, he gets shut down. And now Gazzo and Prime on the hunt for the spawns. Like it was office. Gazzo connecting with the body shot. Prime trying to get the angle to finish. Does find Kush, but Kujer playing from the relative safety of the office. Able to pick off Prime. Here comes the snipe shot. Gazzo ready for the spawn, turning his sights on the living player. Prime is going to come off spawn with knowledge of where the enemy is. Takes damage immediately. Both players with no shield. This is Kujer and Kush's chance to retake control. They know where their opponents are. They know that they're weak. And Kush able to get the double kill. So that was a momentum-changing series of events. 
Christian now with the sniper playing from Overshield 3, spotting the player on back wall. They need only a few more kills to close this one out. Getting the body shot on Gazo. Look for Kujer to move in and finish. There it is. 10 minute mark is hit. Prime getting the camo rockets and he unable to get away. That probably seals the deal there. Getting the 48th kill without the aid of camo rockets and their opponents having overshield. This one's probably over. Kujer, Kujer and Kush need one more. And this could be it. Kujer spotting the game winning kill. Unable to get it as Prime had his back. 49-47. Gazzo under fire, he needs to stay alive. Prime has his back, getting a huge kill. 49-48, Kujer trying to defend the blue tunnel with some grenades. Prime in the pistol battle versus Kush. Kush dodges the grenade and the rocket, trying to send Naze out and stay alive. 49 all. And he, that Kujer closes it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Game one going the way of Kujer and Kush in dramatic fashion. Prime and Gaza nearly completing the comeback. Woo! That was intense. My apologies to the chat for having the wrong uh, the wrong feed on for the first part of that game. That was inexcusable. I was watching the wrong screens. Won't happen again. So game two, I believe, is Hang'em High? Pretty sure it's Hang'em High. Okay, Prime drawing first blood on Kush as he moves across from Red to try to get to this camo, but Kush are going to get the first camo of the game. And it's going to be on Gazo to spot him, able to take out Kush, but Kujer still on the loose. Will he get hit by the nade? That's a huge connection with the nade. Will Prime be able to finish? No. Kujer keeps himself alive while shieldless, and he's going to be able to do work with this camo. Jumping up. Pulls rockets down, spotting players in front of him. That's a risky rocket, able to get one, but Prime knows where he's at. Unable to connect with the second one. Will Kujer walk over a nade? No. Able to take out Prime now. Sees Gazo in the middle of the map. The rocket doesn't connect. Gazza trying to spot the camo player, but Kush has his back. They spot the camo player climbing red tower. Kush are probably going to think about chaining camos, trying to sprint to this top power up as Kush has his back. This could be dual camos coming in on the right side of your screen. Kush with the top power up, Kush with the bottom one, trying to work together. The long range PR coming in for the help. Kush does not have a pistol right now. His PR is doing work. You don't see this weapon get used very often on Hang'em High, and he's putting it to work beautifully. Kush and Kujer both managing to stay alive with these camos. No, no, Kush did go down. However, Kujer's still on the loose with the top power. Seconds left. I can't believe Kujer's been able to do this well without a pistol. Putting that PR to beautiful use. Kush losing the pistol battle to... Oh, th those twin pistols there from Gazo and Prime. And Kujer's just going to set up, waiting for this two-minute camo. This top power-up camo should be expiring here really soon. There it goes. Three seconds to go. Kujer trying to stay alive to get this camo in position to get it. He has at least burned it with the possibility to actually make it work. They're spawning in front of him a blue shoddy. They have an idea of where he is, but Kush flying in to be the distraction. Kush making the correct play right there. Satisfied to sacrifice himself so that Kujer could stay alive with the camo. A selfless play and it pays off as now they have them spawning in red graves. I don't know if Prime got the random one. No, he did. Gazzo spawned top blue, able to take out Kush. But Kujer still with camo. He has been camoed for well over a full minute. Now he has rockets as well. Kush coming under fire. <clears throat> Kujer with quick camo can't finish the partial, can't finish the weak kill he got. But his two-minute camo just wore off, spawning his partner up with him. Kujer does not have a pistol. He still has that same PR from a couple minutes ago. Long-range rocket coming in, unable to connect. He's just going to guard his bottom port. Oops, finding the player in the hole. We'll go for it now. Pass finally suicide. Kujer was on a heck of a run right there. He's closing in on the running riot. Partner <clears throat> getting cross map spawns, so they have a good pinch on the map. Kujer needs to make this first shot count before he gives himself away. Good prediction, Nade. Probably going to connect with Gazzo in the middle. 
Yeah, Gazzo is very weak there. He needs to get this health pack, but it's not there yet. So there it is. Kush playing from bottom covered, spotting Gazzo there in blue tombs. Prime with Camo at the top of the map. Camo Sniper finally dropping. And Gazzo has the overshield. Oh, beautiful shot from Prime. Kujir is the one being the thorn in his side, but Prime shuts that down with a nice double kill. Sniper headshots. Flying in, checking the blue shotgun spawns. They spawn a blue mag, shuts down the top power-up push, and Gazzo has both power-ups. Prime still with the snipe, without the aid of camo this time, but if he gets into the right position, he can still make it do work. He didn't want to commit to top blue without knowing where they are. And that was wise, because that would be Kush up there at blue. Spawning Kusher with him. Gazzo across the map, with, still with a little bit of camo remaining. And moving into the middle of the map to try to random Prime. Prime spawning in camo corner. Then Kush and Kush are just trying to defend top blue. 20 seconds until the next camo. Kush flying in from blue, trying to collapse on blue that is Gazzo down there. Just trying to finish Gazzo with the AR spray, but Prime cleans up the double. Kush are coming off spawn, moving into position to try to fight for this camo, getting shots in both players. His partner already dead, needs to get Gazzo. Misses the nade and Prime is going to probably get away with this camo. No, the grenade was true. Prime unable to get away. Gazzo and Prime now getting the spawn at top blue. As Kujer and Kush now trying to play from the bottom of the map. No power-ups for another 40 seconds. Gazzo probably about to spot. Oh, can he finish the kill? Devil Melee doesn't connect. Gazzo able to shut down Kujer. 21-20. Very tight series here. Prime spotting the player down in the bottom mid. That's going to be an easy kill, but Kujer sending in the shots. Going to try to stay hidden until he can random his partner. Pops back out to give the random. Kujer comes off spawn a red shotgun. Prime already sees it. Kujer's going to have a hard time getting out of here. And they know where Kujer is as well. So it's, things not looking good for Kujer and Kush. However, Kush able to get the long range kill on Prime, who had the better position on him. And now Kush able to push out of red. Gazzo unable to deny it. Prime comes off spawn in the correct, sp in the convenient spot. Able to shut down that push. The six minute camo gets burned. And Kush is last man standing there at red pistol. Rocket's still available, but doubtful anybody will go for it. Kujer came off spawn directly underneath the other team. Gonna play this slow, doesn't want to give himself away. Both players on the flank here. He might come up behind Prime, who is up at blue flag. Kush has spotted Gaza. There's one. Now Prime will likely be distracted. This is all Kujir. Opting to use the grenade for the safe bet and takes him out. So really nice play. Patient play. Making the most of their opportunity right there. With that spawn directly behind those players. Kush pushing across the top catwalk, no many players are at red, spotting the players down by the red wall random. And made down, Kujer pushing across blue teams, able to kill Prime. Now Gazzo trying to play from the red random, knowing that Kujer is likely to get this camo. Kujer, oh, Prime got the random at blue shotgun spawned right next to Kujer, but he's not going to be able to clean this up. Kujer's lit himself. Prime finally goes down, Kush had his back. Kujer jumping for the rockets from a, from a different pillar than we normally see. It's a good job to avoid getting himself predicted. Camo Rock's coming up open, gets, sees the grenade in front of him just in time. Now he has a free... Oh, and he has to kill himself. He was betrayed. Kush sent a nade up in the wrong time. And now Kush is probably going to die giving the random. 27-25, I didn't see who was leading. Three, two, two seconds to go one. until power or until rockets and the bottom camo spawns. If you're getting sniped by Prime, Kush trying to push out of red shotgun to give the random, sending nades up. Kudger gets a very convenient spawn, but Prime already picks it up, landing a nice no scope. However, Kush had his back. So 
Gazza was able to get the 8 minute camo playing from Red Nose here. Knows that there's a player under him trying to dribble nades down on the Kush. And Prime was able to finish. A good teamwork out of Gazza and Prime. And I think they know that Kuzher is top blue. Kuzher opting to spawn his partner with him down there. Probably a, a, a good play, knowing that most other spawns would be worse than that. Gazza trying to avoid being seen. Staying crouched along the top catwalk. Prime trying to draw the distraction from Red, and it pays off as Gazzo finishes the kill. Now Gazzo thinking about nading Snipe to himself, but he really doesn't want to give himself away. His camo has expired, so now he has to make a run for it, and great shot out of, that was Kuzher shutting him down. Kush gets shut down off a of top blue, but Kuzher laying down heavy shots on Gazzo. Prime trying to have his back, and as soon as Prime started hitting him, Gazzo popped back out to give the help shots. Gazza with the 9 minute camo, no rockets this minute, but top power up has respawned. Oh, Gazza getting hit by the nade, but it blows right in. Prime and Gazza working so well together. Both teams' teamwork is absolutely on point. There's so much help being given, uh, and players doing damage and dishing out, trusting the teammates to finish. Gazza with a nice 3 shot on Kush. Keeping control of his camo, he's just kiting Kudger into some damage. But he does finally fall to the nade. Prime trying to avenge all by himself. That is a 2v1. He walks into the 2v1. However, Gazzo getting a fortunate random in position to at least put shots on a player contesting camo. That would be Kush. Kudger trying to come off spawn, and Gazzo, his spidey sense was tangling. He turns around and picks up the kill, uh, the player coming up covered ramp. Prime was able to get away with that 10 minute camo. Rockets are on spawn. Prime trying to finish the player in the middle. Good self-control here. Going to use his AR to finish, knowing he was absolute. You guys are trying to distract for Prime, but they just saw him. It's a rough situation for Prime. Unable to use the camo the way he wanted to. You guys are coming off spawn at red. Going to get the random from the pillar. Prime getting the camo corner spawn. You guys are able to handle his own business there, killing the player in the trench. Using... Using the cover creatively to stay alive while still doing damage, he does finally go down. Prime trying to control the camo spawn. Being made difficult by... that is Kudger up top at blue. Finally finishes Prime, gets the double, but his partner goes down. Camo's still available and Kudger is booking it. Try, fr scanning frantically to find the spawners. That would be Red Pistol that came off the spawn. Kudger unable to get away, so the camo is burned. 11 minute camo is gone. Gazzo immediately in a fight. That's the 41st kill. <laughs> You're going down once again. Trying to see how many kills Kudger and Kush have. Gazzo on Prime, I believe, are 42. Spawning at red, Gazzo on Prime aware of their positions. They're also in the same spot. Let's see. Kudger getting the alternate angle, flying out wide. Going to bottom windows, and it's going to be on Kush to stay alive for as long as he can while Kudger gets the angle. Ten. Ten seconds to go before everything on the map spawns. Gazzo taking a really ill-timed death right there, and Kudger with a great nade to take out Steven. So Kudger getting the all-important 12-minute camo. Let's see if he can get the rockets. This game is extremely tight at the moment. Great shots out of Gazzo to take out the spawner. However, Kudger is the much bigger threat. He Ops to go up. Rockets are still available. He did not try for the rockets. He has to know that this player saw it. Oh my goodness, I thought Gazzo saw him. He walked right into the shotgun. 44-43 here in game two. If Kudger and Kush can close this one out, they will advance in the tournament. Prime playing from Red Tower. Gazzo finding himself at bottom middle. Here comes the easy rocket kill. Kudger was patient. <laughs> with Camo Rex, he doesn't have much camo left. He picked it up pretty quick. There's the camo. He picked it up on spawn, so his camo's already gone. However, they only need a couple more. Gazzo picking off the player off the top. Kudger has no pistol to work with. He has shotgun and one rocket. However, oh, camo getting ready to spawn, so Kudger has yet another camo. And it looks like he's going to be able to get away clean using the camo, <clears throat> using the shotgun to quick camo. Bottom of the player on open. That's 46 now. A lot of pressure on Prime. Able to pick off Kush, a big uh, long-range kill there. Team's tied at 46.
Kuzier with no rockets, no pistol, has made his way over to the blue magnums. Unfortunate for him that he wasn't able to get a lot of use out of that camo because he had no pistol. And waiting for Prime to commit to having no cover. Really patient play out of Kuzier. Very characteristic of his play style. Letting players walk into his trap. 20 seconds. Doesn't open fire too soon. Kuzier's losing the long range pistol battle to Gazo and now they know that Kuzier is up at top of blue. Spawning Kush with him. Five seconds to go until rockets and camo. Gazo and Prime playing from the bottom. Prime just trying desperately to stay alive. Normally this would be an acceptable death, but when the game is this close and, and this close to the end, Prime clinging to this pillar for dear life. Knowing there's a player top open, and that's going to be Kujer putting in the shots on Prime. He's no shield, so there goes the kill. But Prime bought Gazo enough time to answer back. 49-48. The weight of the world on Gaza, their tournament lives rest on Gaza's shoulders at the moment. He needs to make this kill count, this player in front of him. Goes for a vanilla pistol shot on him, did not lead up with a nade or anything. Because he didn't have any. Now he's going to try to get this kill here. I believe it's 49 all at the moment. Knows this player is directly under him. Spawns his partner with him, this is it, they're closing in on the play shotgun, they weren't able to get it fast enough. Kujer had his partner's back. And high fives coming in from Kujer and Kush. 50 to 49. Oh my goodness. Kush was in a bad way at Blue Shotgun. He had the camo player closing in on him and the camo player's partner spawned right above him. If Kujer wasn't there to three him up super fast, Kush would have been dead. Excellent, excellent teamwork out of both teams. Congratulations to Kujer and Kush. They advance to Losers Finals where they will meet Jones and Wraith. Folks, thank you for being here. We're closing in on the end of the tournament. If you know anybody that might be interested in watching some high quality Halo One, please uh, tweet the stream. Let people let people know about it. We'd love to have some more people in here with us <coughs> while we decide who's going to win this tournament. The only remaining teams: Kujer and Kush, Jones and Wraith. And the team waiting in the grand finals already, missing no, and IXQ1K. You were blue pistol? Yeah, that was. I had a on you. I gave the random. He said you were blue. And, uh, yeah, as soon as I turned around, because I was going to run up close, and then I saw him spawn, and I just didn't move. And I told Steve, I don't know if you got shots on him. Did you get shots on him when you spawned blue pistol? Because I didn't feel like I wanted to shot. No, I didn't get it. I threw, I was in the process of throwing three nades, which none of them did. We're going to give the boxes a 10 minute break, my friend. Get shoes up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.